Justin Timberlake, who I've known for 20 years now, going back Ragger. to the and seeing, you know, he's got a big record coming out. He's the halftime yeah. Super Bowl show. But he's here tonight really in support of his wife and all the work that Justin has done. That was nice. That is nice. That how proud he was of her. And giving her her moment yes. because nominated for her role, but also she's a producer on Center as well. We are less than a couple of minutes, like five minutes, I believe, until the top of the Golden Globe, the second day of the Golden Globe show. We've got much more coming up, though. Hashtag Golden, Golden Globe. What the hell? Clay Aiken. What the? Look away. This is our ancestors' land. Oh, it's cute. He's gotta go. No. This is only the beginning. No. 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 That's that is incorrect. That is incorrect. No, Peter. No, Peter Rabbit was not fighting for his land. Peter Rabbit disobeyed his mom, and he went into Mr. McGregor's yard. Mr. McGregor did not look like Clay Aiken at all. He didn't look like Clay Aiken. He went into Mr. McGregor's yard, which he shouldn't have done, because his dad was caught by Mr. McGregor, murdered, and put into a pie. His own father was eaten by Mr. McGregor. Now that is a good reason to stay out of Mr. McGregor's yard. All he's doing is he's using his yard to plant vegetables. Peter had no business going in there and stealing those vegetables. His mom told him not to, and he did it anyway. The idea that you, you, that he first of all, and the other animals weren't even in the book. Okay, they had their own books. We're, it's not clear that Peter Rabbit had any relationship at all with uh, Jemima Puddle Duck. Was, was that, what was the duck's name? Jemima. Jemima. And the hedgehog was? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember either, but they had the hedgehog in there. They're not allies. They're not friends necessarily. I mean, they might be, but it's not in the book. And furthermore, Peter Rabbit, like, st staging some kind of insurrection against Mr. McGregor and his yard. This is, it's not Home Alone. The story is not about protecting his property from um, a bully. Mr. McGregor's no bully. He's just trying to keep his vegetables safe. He's a, he's a farmer. You got a little rodent coming in and stealing his veggies. He's not supposed to. His mom told him not to. This is an abomination already. And it's sad because it looks pretty good. I actually um, think that they, they did a nice job bringing um, Beatrix Potter's animals to life. And I love Beatrix Potter's drawings. I think she's great. This is a disaster. It sends a, a bad message to kids. <laughs> it sends a terrible message to kids, babe. You know what it says? If you take your kid to see that movie, you're telling your kids to disobey you. And not only to disobey you, but to disobey you in a fit of self-righteousness and arrogance and to be destructive. He, Peter Rabbit... He, he took all the electric fences down and he set them up to electric, uh, electrocute Mr. McGregor. If That day will never come where the animals in our yard sabotage our home. Never. I won't allow it. I gotta see this again. I had to rewind it. This is an outrage. Why is it? Why is it that Hollywood can't... They take good and pure characters and stories with simple messages and they corrupt them. What do you mean he's got to go? It's his house. And that's a scene from the book where he's hiding in, well, he's hiding in a, a watering can. What an a-hole. No, no, no. Somebody literally went to a producer and said, okay, so Beatrix Potter meets Macaulay Culkin. That's exactly what happened in the meeting. Like, Peter Rabbit is... Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone, but he's even more like sociopathic and uh, and evil. And he's hanging out with all the animals. We're gonna bring them all together. Beatrix Potter would. Beatrix Potter, dear Beatrix Potter, I'm so sorry for this. I'm not gonna. Die. I'm I'm not going to see that movie. Are you? Are we going to see that movie? Oh hell no! Oh, oh, oh. 